five months pregnant. Based on a true story. The lake could be anywhere within a several thousand square mile area. I want to live. John Schneider and Mel Harris in Desperate Journey, the Allison Wilcox story Sunday. Would you keep a deep, dark secret to save a relationship? He's a wonderful guy, and he just won't forgive me for this. Melinda is pregnant, but she's not sure her fiancé is the father. What would he say? I don't think he'd say anything. He'd just walk out the door. So Melinda is living with a lie. There will be some repercussions. There's no doubt about it. I can't tell him it's not his. That's why there are kids in this world that are messed up today because the mother's no, not my kids. Should she tell the truth? Text Sally. Friday at 10 on 21 Alive. Has your Christmas fund lost its luster? Hoping Santa will bring you a sack full of silver? Don't lose your holiday cheer. 21 Alive's Christmas checks are here. Stop by any participating retailer and sign up to win. If your name is drawn, you may be one of 14 lucky winners to receive up to $500 in 21 Alive Christmas checks. And one grand prize winner will get a $1,000 21 Alive Christmas check. Stop by Rarick's Rentals, McJohn One Hour Photo, or Hickory Farms to get your 21 Alive Christmas check entry form today. It's the most wonderful time. Here's one set of pretty lights we hope you won't see this holiday season. Please, don't drink and drive. L.A. Law Stars Tell All on the next Maury. Okay. Yes. If you're uh, worried about too much traffic in your neighborhood, you can just block off yeah, the street. Up, no, just that. put a gate on the street and you won't be able to get that. through. Right. If you're worried that there are too many uh, crimes happening in your area, you can put a... You could put a, why not? Or what if you think uh, there are too many people of color coming through your neighborhood? Can you put up a gate on a street to keep them out? Why not? What about all these home, these places in Florida? You know, they have a gate and a guard and a thing goes down and up. Les Robbins, you are a city councilman for Long Beach, California. God bless Long Beach. Um, you've also ha had a whole career in law enforcement. And you want to put up a barrier to block uh, your section against a neighborhood that is mostly Hispanic, and you're being accused of racism. Right, I feel right. my... That's right. I think to set Absolutely. the record straight, my constituents are, have come to me and did about four years ago and asked to explore the possibility of closing one street into a residential community that is a comprised of about 450 mm. homes. This street uh, has been closed previously, about 20 years ago, it was not open. It was open to accommodate a freeway that was That's built approximately 20 years built. ago. Yeah. Wait a minute, well, let me and, make this point. Yeah, yeah. And to make, yeah. A, to make a very long story short, we very have spent unfair. four years researching it, meeting with the community, meeting with the public, doing the an environmental impact report, yeah. doing everything that state law and the city no. charter and our city general plan requires us to do. Okay. And no. we, we hope to close it next Tuesday. Yeah, no. what's the matter, Kathleen? Well, well, we, you're Kathleen Nevejas. You are uh, you a resident? You're a city I, councilman for Hawaiian Gardens. Yes, I am. So you're a public servant. Servant. Yes. Everybody's talking. You're doing. <laughs> you have our congratulations for that. You have been for eight years. You lived there for, for uh, 19 years. That is correct. Can I show them the film? Let's Absolutely. just let's see the film here. Please. Show them, Brian. I want to show you uh, <laughs> Long Beach. Uh, we're out in California now. Um, here's Hawaiian Gardens. This is a very proud neighborhood. Yes, these homes are small. Yes, there are uh, iron grids on some of these uh, windows. So what? You're nervous in your neighborhood too, no matter where you live. Uh, now this is El Dorado Estates. See the difference? El Dorado Estates, incidentally, was built long after Hawaiian Gardens. That's Hawaiian right. Gardens is 65% Hispanic. Is it possible that the predominantly Anglo pioneer uh, El Dorado Estates is trying to put up fences so that they can keep a distance from the people of color in the other less expensive community. I ask you, Councilman uh, Kathleen Nevejas. Absolutely. This, is, this has been going on for really the past 10 years, but since Councilmember Les Robbins has been elected, he has made this an issue for the city of Long Beach. No other part of Long Beach are they considering to put up a, a, a fence up to protect well, children. They yeah. are, there is no other part of Long Beach that they are considering people to put this. People cut through uh, that neighborhood to get to the front. 
freeway. Well, that's because they And they go from through. a stop sign to stop sign, and they go real that's fast. That's for residents that come through. It's to their benefit to leave it open. They cut through the but it's a psychological no, barrier no, no. to tell our children, I you can never just make a point here. in an influential area, and you can never come into a white community. Yeah, but that is what they are doing. No, but let me just... It's a psychological barrier to our children. That's what you're trying to do to our children. Nobody wants to be called a racist, and you're very close to saying that here. Well, that's what it is. You know, I'll tell you something else. Let me just ask you this. Let me just ask you this. It was a criminal issue. They were all criminals. Councilman. The resident even said that she bought her home there, and she didn't think she moved next to East L.A., and she's not paying taxes to live next door to East L.A. Somebody, they heard somebody over say it. Don't miss the point now. Don't miss the point. El Dorado Estates comes along. How old is this El Dorado Estates? 20 years, probably. Probably 20. 63, 30 years. voted for this against the fire Hawaiian Gardens was there when El Dorado Estates was was built. Absolutely. But if you get, just let me ask you this. I promise you get to this one. If you get these gates up, if you get the block here, you separate yourself from Hawaiian Gardens. If physical barrier, your property values are going to go up. Oh, absolutely. 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 absolutely, absolutely. She's a real estate agent. You don't think so? No, she's a real estate agent. Not for that agent. reason. Why are they going up then? She's because a real estate traffic agent. will stop any no. value from going up. Shirley Saltman, you're the top agent of El Dorado Realty. That's You've been right. so for 22 years. I'm going to call you when I want somebody to sell my God. house. You do a good job, and you're saying real estate property values and racism is not an issue over right here. Racism is not an issue. Property values because of the traffic that's involved. If you were choosing a house, one That's on a street that has lots line. of traffic, yeah. and one on a house that oh, had no traffic, line. which one would you choose? So, uh, it's true. Traffic can kill a neighborhood. Traffic can kill a neighborhood. It can kill a neighborhood. Oh, Phil. But yeah. can we just summarily start putting up barriers? This is a street. Well, Phil, Phil, they voted four against, years, they four voted years against we have the been fire department. Law enforcement. Give them a chance. Four four years, councilman, please. Four That's years true. we have been looking at this issue. We, Long Beach, years, yes. We, the city of Long Beach, and for four years, we have studied the impact of traffic in this neighborhood. Mayor Navejas has already stated that it's not Hawaiian Gardens traffic that's impacting the community. It is traffic from the County of Orange. It is traffic from cities yeah, east of us. It is yeah. not traffic from... But they got some more goods traffic. on you now. Can you imagine... Nelson, Oliva, you get to speak, even though you're a man and uh, <laughs> we allow token uh, men to speak. Uh, go Thank ahead. You. You've been very patient. I'm sorry. This traffic also affects the City of Hawaiian Gardens. It has since day one when the freeway was opened. It affects all the communities in the area. What's happening you're going to block the traffic to go into an exclusive area of Long Beach. That same traffic will now continue to travel to residential streets in Hawaiian Gardens, oh, right next to the elementary know. school, yeah. where yeah. there are about so 900 kids every day. So the barrier increases the traffic in the Absolutely. in the neighborhood with no. the homes right. that are no, not no, as no. expensive. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. No. Uh, he's saying no. He wants a year's trial. We'll try for a year. We'll take no. surveys. Absolutely. We'll take movies. It'll, we'll count cars. It will take three times as much effort to get that barrier removed once it goes up. That's right. Don't miss the consequence of the dialogue you're listening to. This I is, ask you to at racism. least remember this. this is racism. As America becomes this. more and more Nothing. concerned and as all of us begin to put a second and a third lock on our doors, is it possible that a frightened America will now put a second oh. and third gate on the whole damn neighborhood? Just, I'm fed up, I'm frightened, and I'm going to put a gate here. Can you do that? Yeah. Can Phil? you do that? Phil? Worse than that. Worse than I would say that probably you can forget about the gate. I'm, I live in New Orleans, and on the west bank of New Orleans, we had the city councilman and a group, and a group put up the, the wall before anyone really knew that it was going to happen. So then there was this huge outcry, and it didn't take very long, and the wall came down, and he almost was recalled, but all of these same arguments were made. So. I think you better just forget the wall. <laughs> thank you. Uh, well, th thank you, New Orleans. Well, that'll be the end of our show. Thanks to you, we have nothing. Um, uh, guess who else is in this? New Jersey, Maplewood, and Newark. Am I lying to the mayor? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. You are uh, Sharp James, the proud mayor of Newark, New Jersey. You are in uh, Florida, where you are about to be inducted as president of the National League of Cities. Well, you have our congratulations. Uh, this is truly an honor, uh, Mayor James. And no one is going to accuse you of not being in the trenches. You've been a public servant for a long time. 
and you want to see Newark flourish and get along well with its neighbors. You are here to tell us that uh, you see a problem with Maplewood, which is a uh, community contiguous to the municipality of Newark. Maplewood wants to plow many gates, Mayor? Five. Five? Only five. For only five gates. <laughs> uh, show, I want to show this. Uh, However. Show them, uh, show them, Brian. Let's go to Jersey here for right. just a second here. Uh, the first community you're about to see here is uh, the community. This is uh, Maplewood. This is a neat town. This, once again, you, you, you have to know it's, it's contiguous with uh, the city line of Newark. Now, Maplewood appears to me to be an older community, but one in which uh, a number of uh, homes were built sometime there. Isn't that pretty? These, this is nice. Hooray for Maplewood. <laughs> Now, why would Maplewood want to put up five gates? Why don't I show the Actually, what? The, hill show the Hillcrest area. Why should I show that? The background of it is simply a matter of traffic control. Absolutely, that's. This is a little eight-block area. It has nothing to do with uh, a, a, a town-wide affair. You are the mayor of Maplewood, New Jersey, Robert Grasmere. You are. Uh, you're proud of your town. First of all, you want us to know it's a multiracial, multicultural town. Right? Absolutely. You're not all white. Uh, what are you about? 11 percent, 11 percent African American. 11 percent minority. Minority. As uh, generic. So okay. So you're not Lily White. You think that and and uh, the the gates. You want to put the gates up? Why? Well, actually, it's a response to citizen <coughs> interest, and this is a thing which goes back four years. It really, it's a it's a wonderful story. It 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 involves involvement of citizens in a matter that concerns their daily lives, which was through streets, which were Same bothering story. the safety Same factor story. of children As and so forth. As every year went by, traffic no. volume increased, right? Actually, it does, in fact. Uh, okay. And you see the gate as, hang on, we got one show at a time. <laughs> and as and as the traffic increase, you saw gates or blocking streets, an access that was made a long time ago when we didn't have this problem, the remedy, or barriers. According to the citizens involved who live in an eight-block area, this made a great difference in the enjoyment of their properties, yeah. the safety of their children, and uh, this yeah. was a grassroots thing. This was not developed by government. We this was right. developed Jack, by some Jack, of the citizens are here. Yes, we'll talk to them. Well, hang on, I can only talk to a few people at a time here. Jacqueline Lawrence, you are with the Newark NAACP. Yes. You are not quarantined over here next to the <laughs> TV set. Right. Um, you share Mayor uh, James's uh, concern here, do you not? That's correct. What's bothering you? Well, what's bothering me, uh, first of all, bar gates are symbolic of other things that are happening in our country. The golf clubs, the country clubs, the different uh, situations where uh, people cannot just go and become a, be a part of. And, and where the law apparently allows the, the majority to keep a minority out. That's right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we see the gates, uh, the gates in themselves to beautify their neighborhoods. Sure, you have the right in your community to, to protect yourself, to beautify your neighborhood. Uh, we all want a pleasant environment. But you can't build a wall. But around. building a wall gives lots of messages. A wall says you stay out and we're we're in. The other thing that really concerns the NAACP is that we're constantly the last couple of days I've heard well there are African Americans living there and they agree with this and that's fine. African Americans living in Maplewood. It, it, yes. Uh -huh. and, 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 they, and, and they're saying area. no look I'm happy here and, yeah. and I have children and there's cars are coming by and uh, but, so that makes this a little tough. Go, but go in this instance, I think the NAACP is being proactive and not reactive. And that is simply because we don't think that many people, especially our African-American brethren, right. see the light at the end of the tunnel. Once the gates are built and there is still, quote unquote, things happening in that community right. that they feel should not happen, they begin to decide they want to have police protection uh, in that area. As, and so that and others can enter. Special police protection. Spe spe special so, police protection. Okay, first it's and barriers, same, and then we get an extra kind of yes. jackboot of presence and here. And the me. same people that live in that area, especially our African American males, yes, become subjected to all kinds of <coughs> harassment <coughs> because yeah. we know that when law enforcement agents, per, when, when law enforcement agents 
approach our African American males, it's not good evening, sir, do you live here? They come approach, they, they're harassed, they're intimidated, and the same people who live there will be part of the problem. In other words, even the, the, the citizens who are there will be harassed. That's right. And incidentally, uh, there's something kind of un-American about a cop coming up to a citizen and saying, excuse me, do you live here? I mean, the, the appropriate answer is none of your damn business. But it does happen. <laughs> and well, to deny it, to, to deny it, you have yes. blind uh, You're a citizen of Maplewood, are you, yes. sir? He's yes. the vice You'll mayor. You'll stand, sir. You're the vice mayor of Maplewood. I'm the vice mayor. All right. Yeah, uh, I, I, I do not patronize anybody or presume a familiarity when I say you have to be somewhat uncomfortable with what the sister is saying. No, no, not at all. I think she's way off base. I don't need her to represent me as a black person. Uh, well, I don't need the NAACP. Yeah. I can talk for yeah. myself. You want to get I've one? lived in this community for 22 years. And? It's not at all what she's making it to be. I was elected as a public official in this community. When, and I now serve, we have less than a 12% of our population is black, and I dislike the fact that because some black person decides to use the worst races and throws it at a white person, that makes it true. It is no way true. But we're not elitists and racist, we're not racist. Sir. I haven't used the word Don't racist. Don't you have to cater to well, the Anglo mayor has. I think, I think that, that you have to the not Anglo listened to what, what I said. I said that <laughs> if you think the long-term effect, there will be other situations Miss, that can come I've lived there for 22 years. Yes, How long do you need for the long-term effect? Sir, have you ever been approached by the policeman in Maplewood? I have records, I have facts I can prove to you. For example, a disproportionate amount of, of African Americans are in the traffic court in Maplewood yeah. every week. But uh, that's the fact. That is true, and, and we've dis no and been discussed many here, times you know? on this program. Uh, Maybe the, that's where they belong. Uh, may I share yeah, with you? Anyway. May I share with you a letter that m the mayor that, that, that the mayor of Newark has sent to the mayor of Maplewood? Mayor James, you said in a letter to Mayor Grasmere, I am extremely disturbed by the elitist mentality Maplewood has demonstrated that says that certain municipalities, like Maplewood, Maplewood have no crime, while other municipalities, like Newark, breed criminals. This mindset has resulted in destructive and insulting ideas like the construction of walls between Newark and Elizabeth. This kind of mentality can only cause divisiveness instead of the cooperation that my administration seeks. Mayor, uh, get in on this. You hear these proud New Jersey citizens uh, disagreeing with each other. You would want to say what, Mayor? I would like to say that this is an issue uh, of class separation. It's an issue dealing with communication. I sat next to Mayor Grasbeer for five days at the New Jersey League of take, Municipality. Take at no time did he discuss <laughs> a border problem. When you say a border problem by nature, it involves a problem between two municipalities. For Maplewood to unilaterally start building and erecting barriers without consultation with the city of Newark is insulting and demeaning. When we witness that South Africa is ending apartheid and that East and West Germany are now unified, Rabin and Arafat are shaking hands and talking. If Maplewood has a border problem, by nature of the word border, it would involve dialogue between two municipalities. Mayor Grasmere has never afforded Newark the courtesy of even addressing an issue of traffic, of crime, or drugs. That in itself is being disrespectful to the citizens of Newark. Well, I got to jump we in there. I know you do. I got to jump Mayor, in there. And someday I'm going to have three hours and no commercials, but it isn't today. Right. Mayor Grassmeyer gets the first shot. The proud right. mayor of Maplewood wants to respond to the proud right. mayor of Newark, and will do so in just a moment. First of all. So, how's that space next to tonight's chicken looking? Oh, that empty, huh? Hey, I can help. New Lipton Golden Saute Pasta. Look at this delicate angel hair pasta. Tender broccoli, zesty herbs and spices, and a yummy saute taste. Mm, guess that's why they call it Golden Saute. You'll call it a miracle. Meatloaf tomorrow? Uh, we'll talk. New Lipton Golden Saute Pasta. A saute taste that's on your side. Heck, I'm gonna go have some right now. Oh, I love this. Thank you. 
With Revereware, finding the perfect gift is simple. Choosing between the traditional copper clad or aluminum disc, however, is another story. Revereware, better cooking by design. Potato perfect for crispy golden skin outside, real oven made flavor inside in about half the time. Potato Perfect, the Quick Potato Baker, by Mr. Coffee. Walgreens has bonus packs of 235 Mini Lights on sale. A $16.98 value, just $9.99. Save $5 on this 19-inch animated Santa, now only $24.99. Santa's ski slope with 10 feet of ski trail is just $59.99. And save $3 on assorted musical scenes. Your choice, only $16.99. Have a very Merry Christmas from Walgreens. Gordon, right? Yes. Have you ever worked with anything high-tech? No. No. Thank you for the resume. But we're looking for someone with... More education. Some experience. Good luck to you. What you don't know can hurt you. So let ITT Tech help. Call 1-800-942-0088 for an informative brochure. That's 1-800-942-0088. Next. Yeah. Show them Newark. We didn't show you Newark. Maplewood, Newark, contiguous cities. Maplewood would have been the first suburb of Newark. Well, I mean, why can't we call it? Here's, 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 Maple, here's Newark. Look, look, you can't insult the people of Newark. They love their town. Do they have problems? Sure. So do you. So does your town. Now, here's the community that abuts uh, Maplewood, and it's that community that would be separated by, may I ask you to hold this, uh, you're overqualified, Mayor, for this job. But, um, here's the township of, Maple, uh, of Maplewood. Here's Newark. Look at the gates. Look at this, five there's gates. Only, this there's, looks, there's I tell only, you what. There's only one. Only one, one. yeah, but I mean, yeah. it's a gate. Holy cow, it looks like, you know, you're retreating. In well, the, let me tell you what it does, Phil. Go ahead, give, the, the, give the mayor a chance. There please. are five gates here which are, were hammered out in a two-year process of planning yeah. with planners, with citizens. Yeah. Yeah. What they're creating is cul-de-sac or dead-end streets. This is what you find in subdivisions today which are attractive. Through streets are not the thing. Okay, we've you seen them. You have to have a means... Okay. Of, there's a means of entrance and exit, just as there was before. The pattern has changed, is all. Yeah. Anyone can get in and out yeah. just as they did before. But I sense the, the mayor has come a long way, including uh, having just been named president of the National League of Cities without my counsel. But I certainly hear his honor from Newark saying, you really haven't been that tight with him over the years. There's been very little communication with you. It's almost as though you feel you're in some kind of plantation out here, and you're straight-arming the city of Newark. Uh, actually, I, as a strict matter of fact, I've known Sharp for many years. I will say this, Sharp, I'll never have breakfast with you again, because uh, <laughs> it turns out that, uh, no, he's been kidding me about the fact that we had breakfast and we didn't mention this. This was such a local issue, oh. such an internal matter, that it really had no purpose in, in, in bothering a fellow who's got oh. as big a job as Sharp. Has. Mayor, it's not, no. he didn't uh, think it was that important. I think all no. of us should understand, if you wake up one morning, you've been living next to a neighbor, families for 100 years, and one morning you walk out and they're building a fence or putting up gates, you would have two questions. Why and how will it affect me and how will it affect our property value? When Mr. Mayor Grasmer talks about neighborhood, he should have a concern for Maplewood neighborhood and also Newark neighborhood. My concern is that you cannot deal with a border problem without both munici municipalities no, having yeah, seats. Now right. California wants in this. Yeah. Go get him Long Beach, that please. That is exactly yeah. the problem. I come from California. It's the motor vehicle capital of this country. No. Every excuse. city planner in every community in California that starts from scratch develops a city with no through street with cul-de-sacs. Why? Because there's less traffic, it is quieter, yeah. it is simply a quality of Property life issue. Property values go up, and who wants a lot of traffic? Your kids are playing in the street, I get it. 
Okay. Right. What bothers me about what, what's what bothers going on you? Please let him make his point. What yes. bothers what me bothers is you? exactly what we're hearing happen. What is? This is not a racial issue. This is not a crime right. issue. This that's is a traffic and equality of true. life issue, Safety. and that's all it is. It is that's not. all it is with with Long Beach and Hawaiian Gardens. No. There has no. never been an acrimonious yeah. relationship. I, I thank you, and I know how much you want to get in. I want you on my side if we're ever in a dispute with anybody. And I'm giving you a chance if you'll give me an opportunity to do some business here. We'll be back in just a moment. The moment you walk in the front door, there's somebody there to greet you. It's definitely very inviting and warm. It's really good. It was just real fresh. Delicious. Friendly people. You can't beat it. It's great. So many reasons to come back soon. The Olive Garden Italian Restaurant. Serve Olive Garden favorites at your holiday party. Call and pick up Olive Garden parties to go. Everything in this television spot's at least 50% off comparable retail prices at Value City. Like a million dollar buyout of girls 4 to 14 denim coordinates by Zing, including shirts, skirts, and jeans. They're alone $9.99 and $12.99. Infants and toddlers famous label denim jeans and corduroys. Not $20 to $29, only $9.99 and $12.99. Infant and toddler pro logo blanket sleepers. Not $9 to $13, only $4.99 and $5.99. Don't miss all the unbeatable store-wide values at Value City department stores. Tis the season for Shastar's pre-Christmas saving spree, a great time to save on your favorite quality name brands, like this boombox with 16 selection CD player. Rent it for just $7.99 a week now at Shastar. Or this beautiful Lane Cedar chest, now just $5.99 a week at Shastar. Shastar makes it easy for you to get what you need for the holidays by renting at the lowest weekly prices in America's best appliances, home electronics, and furniture. Call 1-800-22-SHASTAR for a store near you and shop this week during the pre-Christmas saving spree only at Shastar. Everyone knows auto accident victims have choices when looking for the right lawyer. But if you've been hurt and call us, what do you get? You get our team of legal professionals trained specifically to deal with accident cases. People who will build your case with your best interests in mind. You get a firm that knows how to hit the curveballs your insurance company may throw you. But most of all, you get someone who cares. The Levimoff Law Offices. Making the law work for you every day. Call 423-2581. Say, call her you wanted to say. Yeah, I'm here. Just give us. We're back on the air. Not an important thing, but yes, you wanted to say. I wanted to say to the mayor of Maplewood, who says he has an interracial town, that 11% is not interracial. Well, but may I just make this point before we start deciding who's in, who's who's integrated and who isn't? Let's take a look at where we where we live. Where do I live? How many black people live in my neighborhood? I think uh, this looks like a very fine middle class community to me. Precisely. And if we are to understand the, the citizens here, it is a neighborhood, it is a community in which there are some neighborhoods are better than others, as with most places every, every like, community is like so, that. But the yeah. point is, here once again is the middle class, we are obliging the middle class to do the integrating for the limousine liberals. And you're doing no, it very well. No, you're you're proud of your community. There, there's, there's no limousine liberals in, in Maplewood, New Jersey. This is a very That's average... That's the point city. I was trying to make. Yes, absolutely. This, so hooray for you. This, this happens to be a very, a very cohesive... If, if you looked at carefully at that, that map, you would yeah. see it's eight blocks, right. which represents homes which are probably 50 to 70 years old, beautifully maintained. Okay. But they are afflicted with through streets. Yeah. And that, as a safety matter, so we've the got the early folks. planners didn't anticipate the increased vehicular traffic. The late right. modern planners put a lot of cul-de-sacs in. You're nice and safe. Your kids can play. You don't want them to run in the street, but at least you're not listening to loud <laughs> screeching brakes. Now we've got the problem, and so fix the problem. Since we don't have the cul-de-sacs, put up the barriers. Is that racist? No. Is that racist? No. Huh? What do you think? Yes, sir. You wanted to say what, sir? Uh, yes, uh, I'm a Latino, uh, you know, uh, person. And uh, even if this issue is not uh, like a racist issue, and even if it's not about whether you're black or white, I think the main issue here is that just remember what happened with the Berlin Wall. I mean, we just stumble it down, and now in America, we're not building. It doesn't make sense. Well, the mayor agrees with you. Let me just get one more, and then I promise we'll get you in. Are you there, caller? You wanted to say what? 
Bill. Yes. yes, I'd like to say that they should most definitely be allowed to put up the walls in their own community. And I think that it's ridiculous to say it's an issue of racism because there will be black families and white families as well incorporated in this community. They're trying to make it safe and work together to make it a positive place to live. We have we have not heard from David Chavez, the Hillcrest Neighborhood Association. You are a professor of planning for at uh, Rutgers, are you? Work so you're a, you're an academic who's devoted your life to the scholarship of municipal planning and how we get along and yeah. so on. And your opinion on this is what, well, sir? Well, I want to say, first of all, is that it's not only dedicated my academic life, but my life to dealing with fighting racism and fighting oppression and dealing with poverty. I've spent most of my time in Newark and Camden trying to deal with these problems. And you but, proposed this plan. And it was behind oh, our idea. Yeah. Not you, I propose, you proposed five gates. Oh, I yeah. proposed, what I didn't propose, <laughs> I, where did you get that from? I mean, that, I don't know where you know talk. What it is is that it was right. an idea when the neighborhood was discovered. But let's clarify one right, issue, well, you, Phil. I, I, you, you clarified. If I no, said, no, I did I misspeak? Yes, you did. Well, because then fix it. Said, I'm going to fix it. And what I'm going to say is, is that it's important to speak out and recognize that racism is a problem and that the way that people perceiving it, I don't blame them for the way they're perceiving it. Thank you. We should have you reached out more. You would be suspicious, too. I would be suspicious, too. And right. the way that was presented by the media. But right. you have to understand one thing about this neighborhood different than the way they portrayed. Right. You took the best of Maplewood and the worst of Newark and put Thank it side by side. side. <laughs> the truth in our neighborhood is, is that it's 50 percent African and Caribbean American and Latino. Now, that's the truth. The houses are on the lower end of the market. I can reach out and touch my neighbor. Percent of the of what of, of the, the residents are the, the residents of Newark Hillcrest, of, no, of, 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 of Hillcrest of neighborhood the Hillcrest. oh the Hillcrest, Hillcrest neighborhood, neighborhood of Maplewood I and see. that this was about and when we started this the statement we came from it's not a high crime area. What it is, is that we stated it because we made a commitment that we wanted to show that people of different races can live together. Yes, but why now the gates? Walls. Why the gates? Tell me about, there's, you have to, please give him a chance. Why the gates? No, you propose the gates. Please give him a chance. May he just have just a moment. Please tell these people why the gates are a good thing. Because one of the things, as I said, is that there were several issues we were dealing with. One was the one issue that we were dealing with was the, was the traffic. Okay. The second area thing is, is that we were trying to upgrade the area that people said that because we are an integra integrated area, that realtors had been coming to us telling us that this, the crime was high. Economics. We wanted economics. economics. Yes, economics. it is. Economics. We are homeowners. Money. And, yes, and please, that was please it. Let him, yes. And what and was that, it? And how does the gate and fix it? And it spruces it up. It's not, first of all, the gate. Let's it's understand not, the gate. The gate does not block out access. Pedestrian access is kept up. It is a short gate. It was to relieve traffic. But I want to be clear that we we were about the best. Our intentions were the best. Sometimes, as we all know, that gets misinterpreted, and we have to be able to build bridges now. Every I don't blame the way you feel about it. You're absolutely right. He's talking to you, Mayor Jane. Oh, right. I agree with you because, because hell is paid with good intentions. That's right. So we have, but sometimes we start out with. We, we, yeah. All right. I will give you a chance. Your first one. We come back, which we def. I know. I know. We'll be back in just a moment. of Cincinnati, more than all the men and women in the Marine Corps, more than four times the number of unemployed auto workers. Since 1980, over half a million Americans who make clothing and home fashions have lost their jobs because we don't realize the impact of buying imported goods. So if you think looking for the Made in the USA label doesn't matter, next, it matters. Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Come discover the magic of Christmas at Nisco Christmas Paradise. Marvel at over 30 beautifully decorated trees and over 30,000 lights on display. See our larger than life animated collection. Stroll through our magical forest of trees to the shimmering water fountain at Nisco, Fort Wayne's Christmas tradition for over 20 years. Shop either location, south at 5008 Decatur Road or north in Coldwater Crossing. 
Would you keep a deep, dark secret to save a relationship? He's a wonderful guy, and he just won't forgive me for this. Melinda is pregnant, but she's not sure her fiancé is the father. What would he say? I don't think he'd say anything. He'd just walk out the door. So Melinda is living with a lie. There will be some repercussions. There's no doubt about it. I can't tell him it's not his. That's why there are kids in this world that are messed up today because of mothers. No, my kids. Should she tell the truth? Text Sally. Friday at 10 on 21 Alive. Oh, it's time. No, it's early. Oh, I'd like to go now. Oh, gotta get some stuff. This is the big one. Big, 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 big. I don't think I can wait much longer. Here, read this. It'll take your mind off of it. Oh, what? They're getting bigger. Well, do, do you breathe in exercise? Oh, really? Shouldn't we be there by now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're here. We're here. We're here. Oh, what time are the doors open? 7 a.m. What time is it now? 5. <gasps> To be part of the audience, please send a postcard to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. Be sure to include your phone number with the area code. What's the matter? Is this going to fall down here? Yeah. Uh -oh. Hi, I'm your new neighbor. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, good fences make good neighbors, Robert Frost. Uh, you, you can't even borrow fence. sugar with this thing. Uh, Quite true. Yeah, well, but I also owe uh, an opportunity. You certainly are entitled to speak. Shirley, I'm sorry, Kathleen Navejas. You are the Hawaiian Gardens uh, Councilwoman. Hawaiian Gardens is a community contiguous with Long Beach or a part of Long Beach. No, Contiguous we're, too. we're completely separate. Yeah. Um, square miles. A very nice community, which is, as we've established, 65% Hispanic. Correct. And it's they're going to put a wall up uh, uh, El Dorado States. Correct. Bigger houses, larger houses, more money, more Anglo. We're putting a wall up. Correct. It's not that we don't love you. But it's Phil, just that well, there's too much traffic here. Phil, both, both the west side and the east side of the United States, both are using the <laughs> issue of traffic. Are the whole United States going to put up walls That's to what prevent I traffic? Too. I What's wrong? Are we going to use law enforcement? Law enforcement is supposed to enforce traffic problems and enforce speed. If it doesn't work, get rid of it and get new law enforcement then. Okay? If it is a traffic issue, use law enforcement. It is an excuse yes, to deal with the racism here. Thank this you. Is, let, let Mayor James, you've been... Yeah. Thank you for your courtesies here. Mayor James of Newark wanted to say... We've seen this issue when the towns bordering East St. Louis tried to separate themselves with artificial barriers, and people leaving East St. Louis were interrogated by the police, as Ms. Jacqueline Lawrence talked about. In New Jersey, Morris Township did not want to be a part of Morris Town. The Supreme Court just ruled against Inglewood Cliff. They did not want to send their children to the school system in Inglewood, New Jersey. And I think Maplewood failed to understand the implication of their suggestion. If we had been invited to the table, maybe we would have agreed with the gate. But the issue they're missing is the lack of sensitivity that Newark, a neighborhood issue, a border issue, Newark was not even invited to the table. Sean, they assume a leader's a attitude. Issue. They this was a way of the border issue. issue. We hear the point. Let's get the mayor of Maplewood in here, Robert Grasmere, to that observation but, 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 And let me say this. Go ahead. Let me say this before Mayor Grasmere answered. When Maplewood had a water problem and they wanted lower rates, Mayor Grasmere called me at the office and asked me to lobby to assist Maplewood Township with lower water rate. I did that for him, and I appreciate the call, and oh. I would do it again. If he knew my telephone number to call me to assist Maplewood with lower water rates, why not call to explore a border problem? Uh, no. Mayor, Mayor, <laughs> Mayor, 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 uh, Mayor, I've got to tell you that Maplewood has no water department and we charge no water rates. You're thinking of some other outfit in Essex County. It's not us. We have a private water purveyor. You call me to lobby the joint 
Lee for Maplewood. You called me directly, and I spoke oh. with you over the telephone. You it know, had, none of this Mayor you. It had nothing to do with water me, rates. You asked me but, to uh, lobby for Maplewood, and I did you that. You and remember I that, Mayor? Again. You remember no, I, that? I can't, I can't remember it only because we have no water <laughs> rates, but obviously we're talking about something but, that is yes, on another yes. side. Why didn't you call him, and did you think that the, the, the consequence the of this action The reason that it was a strictly internal thing. Four of these five gates, and by the way, these are not a depiction of what's That's indicated. That's true. That's media for you. This, yeah. this is <laughs> yeah. the, the gates. Yes. The gates that we're going to use are like the gates that Sharp James has down in Society Hill in Newark. Are they? Uh, what does that mean? That mean, means that they words, are that, a beautiful brick pillar with wrought iron. They are not a solid thing. They are very ornamental and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Pedestrians yeah. pass yeah. one yeah. show yeah. at a time. Your microphone is open. It is not fair to the people who are speaking. Yes, Mayor. It you is were not saying. a. Mayor Glassman, we do not have gates. Uh, you're talking about something which is on a sidewalk. It has nothing to do with vehicles passing through. It is part of a structure. And I think it is wrong of you to, to suggest Society Hill is, is similar to what you're doing in Maplewood. I'm talking about There's no design, comparison Sharp. whatsoever. Hang I'm on, talking just about Phil, design. Phil, I agree with the mayor of Newark yeah. that if cities are doing this strictly, strictly for racial reasons and strictly to keep those people out of their community, I would suggest to you and everyone in this audience that that's the Legal. We are doing this because it is a traffic problem, and that is simply all. And when we try to do that, we're called racist. And that's I'll give you a chance. We had, I'll give you a chance. we had a public works department do a thorough study. Checking with the license, checking with the license plates. We had citizens in our neighborhood checking the license plates that came in, and they showed that three times more traffic went on our streets that did not believe, okay. oh, please. did not even belong just have in that neighborhood, this, didn't live there. This young woman wants to say. the only part of London. Yes, I come from a neighborhood in Brooklyn that has gates. Seagate separating Coney Island. It's that way for a hundred years. There was never any problem, and it's to, as well, as it works out today. It's it's to a benefit because uh, Coney Island is a third world country. These people in oh. no. Oh. Oh, proud. You have, uh, but you think. So, you, yeah, so you're glad for the gates there. I don't mind it. Exactly, exactly what we're saying. Just a moment. Well, say goodnight, Coney Island. Yeah. That's the proof. This young woman wanted to say, oh, may, I, may I for a moment, please? I <laughs> exactly right. I think you need to look at your future. And if you're doing this in 1993, what are you going to be doing 25 years from now? You're worried about what? Big iron gates, maybe fences children. like this, huh? Or worse. Ordering yeah. everybody. Uh, yes. I'll be back. You live in uh, El, Dorado Park El Dorado Parks Estate. This is the higher price neighborhood. I've lived there. For you years. live there, and they're putting up a gate so that to separate El Dorado Park Estates with uh, Hawaiian Gardens. Correct. Yeah. And you're here to say, as a person who lives in one of those tri level triplexes, you're white and you're what? Rich. White and, you're and rich. Yeah, but I own a $300,000 home, and I'm absolutely furious at my bigoted racist neighbors. They are spending taxpayers' dollars to put up a fence, literally like this, bordering on a little poor Hispanic community to keep the Mexicans out. The petitioners came to my house every day for 15 years. Yes, go ahead. What? And they said, We'd like you to sign this. We want to keep crime down. We'd like you to sign this petition. We want to put up a gate in Hawaiian Gardens to keep the Mexicans out. Tell them about the market. Um, if they move it up, it will go up no, to the No, the market. I talk about there was a... There was a, there was oh, a I'm no tree. Tell them. Okay, Nortrica's was a, a, a market in El Dorado. In, in the richer area. In the area. richer area, which catered to the Hispanic community, primarily Hawaiian Gardens, because we have much larger families there, of right. course. We don't right. watch much TV. Right. So, <laughs> yes, so what? So our, our families commuted there within a, within a half a mile. Nortrica's was forced to move out of there because a petition by oh, El Dorado Park true. Estate not to true. Mr. Nortrica's facing the not the market was catering to Hispanic people and they tried to close it. That is not even true. There's a petition. I didn't even see a petition. No such thing. This is the top real estate agent in the whole state of California. And she's saying the wall is to reduce traffic and make both neighborhoods more desirable. Come on, do it. Let me finish. 
He left. I have to just say about the market. Racism. I just have to say the market he followed a Vons that had been there for many, many years, and we all shot there happily. No. It was a wonderful no. start. Vons was there. Vons closed. Mr. Davila. Mr. Mr. Davila wrote me a letter because we had cried when Vons left. They were a wonderful little small market. It was a ma major change, but they moved because they needed to be bigger. They needed. They needed to be bigger, and they closed. And Mr. Notrika bought them. And we liked those triggers until they started being so having inferior, inferior after produce. After having inferior what? Produce, inferior, inferior meat, smelly oh, 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 The merchandise oh, wasn't as good. It's, it's not, not that they were upset by the number of Hispanic people coming to the market. It was that the market's merchandise was substandard. That's what they're saying. I'm just reporting. I'll give you a chance here. We'll be back. I'm coming to that section in a, mo a moment when we come back after these words. Let's talk CDs. Not some single disc, five disc, or 10 disc player. I'm talking two, four, 24 CDs. Wow, that's a score plus four. A double dozen digital jukebox. You play your favorite 24 CDs on this player and your clothes will be out of style before the music stops. And you get it at your Get It Today store, RTO, rent to own. RTO has this incredible 24 disc changer with a 100 watt stereo for just $18.99 a week. Free delivery today, $18.99. Look us up in the white pages under RTO. Presenting the Smart Clapper. How smart could it be? Clap twice to turn one appliance on or off, three times for another. It knows the difference. Plug two appliances into the Smart Clapper, then plug it into any outlet. Switch to Away for added security. It turns TV or lights on at the first sound it hears. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off. The Smart Clapper. The Smart Clapper is available at Frank's, Meyer, Builder Square, and Woolworth. Friendly people, always, the, from the clerks to the carryout, everybody is always very, very friendly. Scott's prices are always friendly to your wallet. This week, get fresh 90% lean ground round or whole 95% lean Dubuque boneless ham for just $1.39 a pound. Quality. Here's a chance to stock up on your favorite varieties of Seifert's potato chips. At Scott's, buy one bag and get another absolutely free. Scott's, if we're not your store, we want to be. Taking little rides and making them as lips. What fun it is to paint and truck to cook so long to swim. Alone too. Lost in New York, the perfect holiday gift. Save up to $100 on American Airlines. Details in video. Take home a world of adventure. Once upon a forest. Stupendous! The story of three unlikely heroes racing against time to rescue their friend. Let's go! Get the perfect holiday gift today. Yippee! Once upon a forest on video. A transcript of Donahue, send $3 to Journal Graphics, 1535 Grant Street, Denver, Colorado, 80203, or call 303-831-9000. To order a video cassette for only $24.95, just call 1-800-FOR-VIDEO. Are there fences coming to your neighborhood? Where should they be erected? Are there gates coming to their neighborhood? Hey, sure, the gates, you know, lots of nice brick, and they'll put a little ivy on them and look great. What is the long-term consequences of this, and when is a gate a good idea? And what about all that traffic that you didn't really think you were going to get when you first bought the house, and now that your children are playing out by the curb, you're worried about it? And there's no cul-de-sacs in your neighborhood, so you want to put up a, a gate. When is it racist and when is it isn't? And I am impressed. I thank you for your honesty. Shirley Saltman, the top agent for the Eldorado Realty Company for 22 years. You sell homes in the three to $500,000 range, and you are very honest to say to us that the gates, which would reduce vehicular traffic in the neighborhood of Eldorado Estates, will increase property values. <laughs> but this young woman says that they increase property values at her expense. That's and right. that you're doing and this because this is a 65% Hispanic community doesn't have the power of the Anglos. You, their houses aren't as big. They don't have as much influence in the establishment. And here come the real estate interests and all those bigots, too. And I say, oh, man, we want more fences. Before you know it, you're going to have to have an ID to go to visit your neighbor. No, no, but you're misunderstanding the reason for the increase in value. What is it? The increase in value is that people don't want a lot of traffic in front of their house. And if they're going to have a street that 
Yeah, they have a choice by two streets. One street. Please, you have no mic. I, 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 yeah. I, I appreciate your passion, yeah. but one, I can't One street, do it. if you have a choice of two homes, one on a street where there's lots of traffic, and if yeah. you come to our neighborhood and yeah. see all the traffic, you'd understand. Yeah. And if you have a, a choice of buying a house on a second street where there isn't a lot of traffic, which one would you choose? Yeah, but she is not. She's making another allegation, and that is that the wall is going to enhance the traffic in her neighborhood well, and endanger its well, management. Well, environmental impact report shows he says that no. it's not oh, going to happen. Oh, they, they paid for the and environmental the impact report. Right. 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 All right. All right. All right. Are you there, caller? I'm glad you waited. Yes. Yeah, so, you wanted to say yes. Yes. Um, first of all, I'd like to say there are not a single house in our neighborhood that's over a hundred thousand dollars. And second, a year ago, when we put in, we didn't put up a gate, but we put in speed bumps and we hired a security patrol. We yeah. have not had a single assault, a single graffiti incident. Right. Uh, from, where are you, from where are you calling? Murray, Utah, which is contiguous to uh, Salt Lake City. Right. Even our mayor, even our mayor said that they appreciate it because they're, they're, every, every mayor in this country, his police force is overworked and understaffed. Yeah, I'll get you in just a second. Hang on just a second. You wanted to say I want to say, why don't we put in more speed bumps? Why not make them one-way streets? Why put up walls? Walls divide. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina, in a somewhat uh, affluent neighborhood. And up until a couple of years ago, we had beautiful woods behind our homes. And right. then uh, up and uh, someone built uh, $100,000 homes. And we did it primarily for the preservation of the property. But it had nothing to do with the ethnic origin of anybody. We didn't, didn't have a clue. Uh, what the ethnic origin of the people were behind us. It was simply for the preservation of, uh, because we have covenants and, and about the size and cost of homes in our neighborhood. But, but uh, we cannot dismiss the concern that many of these black and white and Hispanic citizens are expressing. We have black neighbors. We have black neighbors. We have uh, neighbors of all. Well, they agree with you. They agree with you. Ken Pettis, you wanted to say, you live in Maplewood, New Jersey. I live in Maplewood, New Jersey. And you're on the Hillcrest what? I'm one of the founders of the Hillcrest Neighborhood Association, along with David Chavez. That's right. Um, and I would right. like now, you know you're ma the mayor of Newark, not your mayor, but the yeah. mayor who presides over your uh, most populous city is saying, you didn't call him. This looks suspicious to him. Mm -hmm. Five gates, exclusionary. As a matter of fact, um, I, we wrote a letter to uh, Mayor James expressing exactly that and saying that we did understand his initial reaction to the first media reports. However, what I don't forgive him for is not looking into the issue first to see that indeed this was a community before he's grass in the paper before with he's in the paper with, the, with, all, with all of the quotes wow. about elitist Mr. and Patton. racist, a racist Patton. in a neighborhood Mr. that is 50% black. Patton. Mayor, you get to you speak, Mayor. Me a letter. Well, let you me sent me a letter. What? You sent me a letter while I was meeting with the president signing the Brady Bill. That's we were you're... fighting for right. a Brady Bill to reduce crime. We don't need to build barriers. Well, we need to build well, solutions to the problems yeah. that affect yeah. society. Yeah. We'll be, and and we'll be back in just a moment. You are now Quick, what's the only non-stick cookware that goes from microwave to stovetop to oven and then the table? Easy to see. There's only one Vision see-through cookware from Corning. There's big news in biscuits, presenting Grand's Biscuits, our biggest, lightest biscuits ever, made with real buttermilk for a delicious home-style taste. <laughs> Nothing's as loving like my Grand's Biscuits. <laughs> Give us 10 days, we can give you a better dog. Feed your dog ProPlan brand dog food. ProPlan is made with real chicken for a shinier coat and less waste. And now for a limited time, picture your pet. Get a free 35-millimeter camera when you buy a 40-pound bag of ProPlan dog food or a 20-pound bag of ProPlan cat food from your participating ProPlan retailer. But hurry, this offer is good only while supplies last. Available at Cunningham Feed and Environmental, Fort Wayne, Leg Elevator, Decatur, The Feed Barrel, Fort Wayne. Big Lots Holiday Hysteria continues with more great deals on tens of millions of dollars in holiday closeouts. Charging 170 bucks for a set of Northwestern golf clubs is bogeyous. Get them at Big Lots for $89.99. This closeout's here today. Go on tomorrow. Ooh. Great looking jewelry and cosmetic organizers attractively priced at $9.99. That's $9.99. These prices are crazier than my husband. Big Lots, the closeout store. As seen on TV. Wait, this is TV. That's my little brother. I'm still in college with a couple of years to go. He studied electronics at ITT Technical Institute. And he's already working for a good company. While I'm studying the past, he's working on the future. 
You can work on your future by preparing for a career in electronics at ITT Tech. Call ITT Technical Institute at 1-800-942-0088 for an informative brochure. That's 1-800-942-0088. Call now. To be part of the audience, please send a postcard to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. Be sure to include your phone number with the area code. We have been wall to wall here, just uh, with this only seconds left. Here's Carolyn Kelly. Uh, Carolyn Kelly happens to be a Bonds woman. You're from Newark. Newark, New Jersey, yes. So you know something about crime. I certainly do. As a matter of fact, I've bailed out many people from Maplewood <laughs> who've come into Newark to commit crime. Uh -huh. And I think that the mayor of Maplewood <laughs> should yes, at least confront our mayor in the city of Newark, when we recognize the fact that Newark is the largest city in the state, yeah. I think the two mayors should have come together, and the mayor from Maplewood should have come into Newark. Uh, yeah, that seems to be a consensus here. Yes. I don't care if you dress up fences with wrought iron and geranium pots. A fence is a fence is a fence. Yes, yes, yes. 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 This doesn't sound like a racist issue to me. Does it um, matter, does it? does not, it does because not. they're right. talking about constructing um, fences, not walls, and so it's not inhibiting oh, pedestrian access. Yes. Yeah, you know, Find a creative way to build a cul-de-sac. Right. Put a park there. Build a house. Yeah. Build a yeah. recreation yeah. center. Forget the That's fence. That's the important yeah. thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You want to say yeah. briefly, yeah. briefly. Yeah. I think the reason we have traffic jams to and fro is because a lot of the people that live in Maplewood work in Newark. Right. <laughs> so there's another, uh, you know, stand up. Yeah. Sir, you wanted to say. Yeah, I go to Seton Hall University in South Orange next to Newark and we have gates all around our school and I feel completely safe. There's no crime and I think we should get, get gates. Well, a school in a neighborhood is a little, a campus in a neighborhood is a little different. Well, I still I pay $20,000 so I should feel safe. Well, that's exactly the, in other words, $20,000 to feel safe with a fence to keep who out? The, the crime, pe people from Newark. It's a lot of crime. People from Newark translates black, African American, minority. It sounds like it's a lot of crime, high crime. Um, I live in L.A. and a girl was killed I live in a nice neighborhood in L.A., and a girl was killed down the block from me two Mur weeks murder, ago. Murder, you mean, or an accident? She was shot. She was shot. So you and want I don't a fence, want, No, then. I don't want a fence, and I have crime, and I have traffic problems. Right. I don't want to. We pay council people and our representatives good money to come up with creative solutions, right. not to build barriers. Yes, sir, you want to say. I think it's time that we realize that it's a, it's a problem of crime, not traffic. He's saying it's traffic, but it's crime that we're looking at, that, and it is racist. Now you're challenging their motives, and they're saying that's not true. What is it here? Yes, yeah. yeah, so I have a comment. Um, you say you build speed bumps. Why don't you build speed bumps? Because then, then you have less, less traffic. If you build a gate, you got racism. That's what I think. Yes. On the people who put up the gates now concerned that they've created a racial issue. Yeah, how what? what? They, the people who put up the gates, are, aren't they concerned they've now created a racial issue? The people who want the gates are saying it's not fair to call them racist, that you don't understand what they're doing, and they reject the notion that they are. And not only that, you can't look into a man's soul and prove it. They want to reduce vehicular traffic. That. Well, we, we, we want to build bridges. In just That's why we did it. We just in time for the holidays, Value City brings you a spectacular million-dollar buyout of refurbished Sony electronics, including Sony AM-FM headband Walkman, not $40, only $19.99. Sony AM-FM digital cassette Walkman, not $80, only $39.99. Sony Discman, not $180, only $89.99. And Sony AM-FM cassette and CD player, not $200, only $99.99. Don't miss this unbeatable buyout at all Value City department stores. Has your Christmas fund lost its luster? Hoping Santa will bring you a sack full of silver? Don't lose your holiday cheer. 21 Alive's Christmas checks are here. Stop by any participating retailer and sign up to win. If your name is drawn, you may be one of 14 lucky winners to receive up to $500 in 21 Alive Christmas checks. And one grand prize winner will get a $1,000 21 Alive Christmas check. Stop by Glenbrook Commons, Best Buy, or Bushies Incorporated to get your 21 Alive Christmas check entry form today. Ossian Furniture says happy holidays with terrific savings at our annual 20-hour holiday sale. Friday and Saturday save 20 to 50 percent on more than a million dollars of the best names in furniture for every room in your home. Plus, no down payment, no interest, and no payments for one whole year. Free delivery and setup within 100 miles. Friday and Saturday, Ossian Furniture's 20-hour holiday sale. Ossian Furniture. 
capture the spirit of Christmas as you gaze at beautifully decorated Christmas trees at the Embassy Festival of Trees. I'm 21 Alive's Marty Wright. The entire theater will be decorated with fabulous trees like this one to reflect the holiday season. Stroll among the trees and enjoy continuous live entertainment. Tickets available at the door. $2.50 for adults, $1.50 for children. Be sure to visit the Embassy Festival of Trees, a holiday fest event co-sponsored by 21 Alive. Don't miss a gigantic art sale. This Sunday only at the Fort Wayne Marriott. Hundreds and hundreds of beautiful oil paintings from several Midwest galleries have been moved to Fort Wayne for a fantastic one-day closeout sale. Choose from a huge selection. Most paintings are under $39. Absolutely nothing is over $49. That's this Sunday only, 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. in Fort Wayne at the Fort Wayne Marriott. East Washington Center Road at I-69. Hurry for best selection and don't miss this sale. While some kids plan their futures, these kids plan their funerals. Hear their stories next, Donahue. Les Robinson, seconds left. Yeah, Les Robinson, city councilman for Long Beach. This is now under advisement. It's going to happen. What's going to happen here? Next Long Tuesday, the city council is uh, set to vote on it, Phil. One-year trial period. We're going to evaluate it during okay. that time. Gotcha. I'm, I'm Mayor James, uh, can we, Mayor Grasper, you, you, you folks will talk, I hope. I yes, but on two services provided and promotional fees paid by the following. Hey, Remington, shave this. Introducing the Remington Triple Foil, the only shaver with three narrow microscreens. Remington Triple Foil. If you can grow it, we can shave it. French's Sauces and Gravies, the delicious and easy way to top off your holiday dinners. Remember, great meals start with French's. Guest accommodations provided by the Drake Swiss Hotel on Park Avenue, New York's premier address for business or leisure, with guest rooms, suites, and conference rooms for up to 200 people. Call 1-800-DRAKE-NEW-YORK and ask about our special packages priced from $150. You've heard about it for years. Now experience it for yourself. Crystal Cove, Northern Indiana's most unusual self-enrichment center and gift boutique. Crystals, gemstones, candles, psychic tools, self-help materials, and music. Hi, I'm Jean Brown, owner of Crystal Cove. Right now is the perfect time to give the gift of music for the holiday season. Come to Crystal Cove, where we have a wide selection of Christmas tapes and CDs. Crystal Cove, across from the Red Caboose in the Well Street Crossing. The Little Professor Book Company Superstore in Covington Plaza is so big, you may need a map to get around. You'll find over 60 categories of books, from facts to fiction, art books,